One thing that I made a mistake about in the What's New in Reaper 7 video was uh, with track spacers. And I said that you couldn't make them bigger or smaller. What I was thinking is like, if you put two beside each other, like they don't, it doesn't become bigger, but it's not technically true that you can't resize them. And I think three or four people pointed it out to me. Visual track spacer size, 16 is the default, but you could set this to like 60. And so you can have larger separators that way if you want. Yeah, these aren't really tracks, so they don't have names, they don't have icons. Um, it's almost like the empty space at the bottom, like even the menus. Uh, I was going to say even the menus the same, but it's, it's actually not, not quite the same. Some similar things. Um, is that a menu we can customize? I swear I could scroll these menus just the other day. Maybe that's a Mac OS Sonoma thing. Track spacer context. Yeah, we can customize that menu as well. There's so many things in this update that like I don't notice at first, even though I've read the change log probably 10 times. The way you assumed it should have worked, stacking multiple spacers sounds like a better way to do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Or like dragging the top edge of this track, you would kind of think that there you'd be able to resize from the top side to uh, to do a larger separator. I'm not bothered by it. Maybe something like right click and um, set size might be a useful thing. 